Lord Jesus, make us worthy in the abundance of your grace and mercy to glorify your resurrection with pure hearts, to celebrate your victory with holy hymns, and to proclaim your might with pure tongues. We thank you for your love and worship you, crying out, Christ is risen, he is truly risen. To you be glory to your Father and to your Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Peace be with the church and her children. Let us raise glory, honor, and praise to the living and immortal one who gave life to his people by his cross and salvation to his church and happiness to his flock by his resurrection. When he appears, he will give joy to his inheritance. To the good one be glory and honor on this feast and all the days of our lives and forever. We worship and praise your only begotten Son. You descended into the darkness of the tombs and worked wonders in the realm of the dead. By your resurrection you freed the captives, and by your voice you awakened the righteous and the just who had gone to their rest in the sleep of death. You gathered the nations to worship you and to proclaim your salvation. They rejoice and cry out, on Friday, the king endured pain as was crucified, and today victory has been achieved by his resurrection. On Friday, a lance pierced his side, and today in his compassion the waters of baptism flow. On Friday, he was crowned with thorns, and today he's adorned his church with a crown of splendor. Today is the day of rejoicing in the resurrection. Today is the day of rejoicing for all who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection. Today, with the fragrance of this incense, the church and her children celebrate 
and sing hymns of glory, saying, O Creator of life, you have saved us by your passion and have given us life by your resurrection. Now renew our image by your grace, clothe our bodies with the power of the Spirit, so that we may shine in the robe of glory, and in its light see you the true bridegroom. In your grace make us and all the faithful departed worthy of your heavenly kingdom, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit forever. نشكرك يا حول الله الذي ذبح عنا ونجد لك يا بخور الغفران الذي كربنا إليه فأغنانا بميلاده ونقانا بعماده وقدسنا بصلبه وأصلح بيننا وبين الآب بقيامته ورفعنا بصعوده وزيننا بمواهب روحه تقبل يا ربنا بخورنا وانفحنا بطيبك العذب كل حين برخ موربون فتفيد ألسنتنا بشكرك الآن وإلى الأباء آمين <تصفيق> Holy and immortal Lord, sanctify our minds and purify our consciences that we may praise you with purity and listen to your holy scriptures. To you be glory forever. Amen. So 
سبحان المفتدى خبز الحياة أعطانا رد لنا الأمان والحب والسلام A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah, Berich Morabu. May the Lord bless you and the hearers. But the Lord sent a great fish to swallow Jonah, and he remained in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish. Out of my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From the depths of Sheol, I cried for help, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep, into the heart of the sea, and the flood enveloped me. All your breakers and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am banished from your sight. How will I again look upon your holy temple? The waters surged up around my neck. The deep enveloped me, seaweed wrapped around my head. I went down to the roots of the mountains, to the land whose bars closed behind me forever. But you brought my life up from the pit, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted away, I remembered the Lord. My prayer came to you in your holy temple. Those who worship worthless idols abandon their hope for mercy. But I, with thankful voice, will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will repay. Deliverance is from the Lord. Then the Lord commanded the fish to vomit Jonah upon the dry land. Praise be to God always. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Monsignor, give your blessing. May the God of Paul bless you and those who listen to his word. Brothers and sisters, but if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how come some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching. Empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God because we testified against God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. But if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead came also through a human being. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life but each one in proper order. Christ is the first fruits. Then, at his coming, those who belong to Christ, then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. Praise be to God always. فصل من رسالة القديس بولس الرسول الأولى إلى أهل كورنثوس وبارك يا سيدي.
يا إخوتي إن كان المسيح يبشر به أنه قام من بين الأموات فكيف يقول بعض منكم أن لا قيامة للأموات فإن كان لا قيامة للأموات فالمسيح أيضا لم يقم وإن كان المسيح لم يقم فتبشيرنا فارغ وفارغ إيمانكم ونكون نحن شهود زور على الله لأننا شهدنا على الله أنه أقام المسيح وهو ما أقامه إن صح أن الأموات لا يقومون فإن كان الأموات لا يقومون فالمسيح أيضا لم يقم وإن كان المسيح لم يقم فباطل إيمانكم وتكونون بعد في خطاياكم إذن فالذين رقدوا في المسيح قد هلكوا إن كنا نرجو المسيح في هذه الحياة وحسب فنحن أشقى الناس أجمعين والحال أن المسيح قام من بين الأموات وهو باكورة الراقدين فبما أن الموت كان بواسطة إنسان فبواسطة إنسان أيضا تكون قيامة الأموات فكما أنه في آدم يموت الجميع كذلك في المسيح سيحيا الجميع كل واحد في رتبته المسيح أولا لأنه الباكورة ثم الذين هم للمسيح عند مجيئه وبعد ذلك تكون النهاية حين يسلم المسيح الملك إلى الله الآب بعد أن يكون قد أبطل كل رئاسة وكل سلطان وقوة لأنه لا بد للمسيح أن يملك إلى أن يجعل الله جميع أعدائه تحت قدميه وآخر عدو يبطل هو الموت والتسبيح لله دائما بشارة مخلصنا المبشرة بالحياة لنفوسنا يقدم البخور إلى مراحمك يا رب نصلي من السلام لجميعكم ومع روحك من إنجيل ربنا يسوع المسيح للإديس ماركوس الذي بشر العالم بالحياة فلنسري لبشارة الحياة والخلاص لنفوسنا كونوا في السكوت أيها السامعون لأن الإنجيل المقدس يتلى الآن عليكم فاسمعوا ومجدوا واشكروا كلمة الله الحي. The evangelist Mark writes, When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone, the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. 
He said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, He is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. Then they went out and fled from the tomb, seized with trembling and bewilderment. They said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. قال مرقص البشير لما انقضى السب اشترت مريم المجدلية ومريم أم يعقوب والسلومة طيوبا ليأتينا ويطيبنا جسد يسوع وفي اليوم الأحد باكرا جدا أتينا إلى القبر مع طلوع الشمس وكنا يقلنا فيما بينهن من يدحرج لنا الحجر عن باب القبر وتفرسنا فشهدنا الحجر قد دحرج وكان كبيرا جدا ودخلنا القبر فرأينا شابا جالسا عن اليمين متوشحا حلة بيضاء فانذهلنا فقال لهن لا تنذهلنا أنتنا تطلبنا يسوع الناصري المصلوب إنه قام وهو ليس هنا وهو المكان الذي وضعوه فيه ألذهبنا وقلنا لتلاميذه ولبطرس إنه يسبقكم إلى الجليل وهناك ترونه كما قال لكم فخرجنا من القبر وهربنا من شدة الرعدة والذهول ومن خوفهن لم يقلنا لأحد شيئا بارك مرب حق ولا مال لجميعكم Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. May His light always shine upon your face and give you joy and fill your home with His presence. Amen. In the next few weeks, you're going to be in church uh, hearing more and more of the resurrection stories. And in each of those stories, or many of them, you see that when the disciples first see Jesus, they don't recognize him right away. So, <clears throat> for example, Mary Magdalene, when she was at the tomb uh, and he appeared to her, maybe she had tears in her eyes and, you know, she wasn't really paying attention well. She didn't recognize him right away. And then, as soon as he said her name, Mary, her eyes opened and she said, Rabuni, and she embraced his feet. Likewise, there were two disciples walking from Jerusalem to Emmaus, and they were conversing, and Jesus came up behind them and asked them, what are you conversing about? They didn't recognize him. And for the entire way, they were conversing with him, and they didn't recognize him. They invited him to dine with them. He came in, and he took the bread, and he broke it, and as soon as he handed it to them, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished in that very moment. And there were other times as well where the disciples didn't quite recognize him right away, and then they recognized him after. So, what was happening there? It was important for this to happen, because when you see someone in a new way, you open your mind and your heart to them, and you encounter them, 
there's this openness that wasn't there before. You encounter them now in a new way. So for example, let's say you haven't seen someone for 10 years and they look a little bit different and so you see them far away and you say, huh, is this so-and-so? So you go up to them and you say, ah, Joe, ah, Mary, yes, yes, oh, it's so good to see you and embrace them and then say, oh, what have you been doing all these years? So at first, you've had a preconceived notion of how they were because this is how you were, you were friends, okay? But you haven't seen them for a long time and now you're open to how they are now, how they've changed, what's new in their life, and you're listening, you're taking it in because now you want to see how it's, what's different about them and they with you as well. And so you have this exchange and you're open like this. Now it was very important for the disciples to have this new openness because they had preconceived notions about Jesus that were up until this time not full or not even accurate. For example, certainly Judas, uh, certainly Peter to some extent, even though he was ready to, to die for him, uh, but he thought that certain things were going to happen and Jesus was going to do certain things and they didn't happen and he was sh completely shaken up and he denied them. And so the other disciples who ran away so each one of them had to encounter Jesus now in a new way so they can have a new openness. So this tells us something about our life in that we often put each other, especially the people are closest to us, into a preconceived way of approaching them because this is how they are and this is how, what, you know, what they can understand and take in and, and this is how I am and, and it kind of, you kind of feel comfortable in that way but at the same time, sometimes you box each other in. Sometimes you box yourself in, sometimes you box someone else in. Especially if you're hurt and so, sometimes the closer you are to somebody, the more hurt you feel. And so you tend to, you know, say, okay, this is the way it is. And you don't want to move from that spot. Because you don't want to get, get more hurt, maybe. I don't know. But uh, this is the way it is. So how do we unravel this trap that we put ourselves into? Let's uh, look at this great mystery of the resurrected body of Jesus a little bit further to help unravel how we can uh, see each other. Each of us grew from being a child, little baby, child, and then youth, and then young adult, and then we get older and older. So in each of the stage in life, we are still the same person. And if you look at the, your picture when you're a lot younger, you'll see that you, there's a resemblance of you. And then as you get older and older, you'll see there's a resemblance from the moment that you're very young to the moment that you're old, okay? And it's really quite amazing how you see the progression. But it's still the same you. in the resurrected body of Christ, there's all of those permutations of himself, not only in age, but also in the way that he can be recognized by other people. Life is full of these kinds of mysteries. For example, you look at a tree and it has certain kind of a leaf, but that leaf there's another leaf and another leaf and another leaf. They all resemble each other, but each one of them is different than the other. You look at a snowflake. Each snowflake by the zillions and zillions is different than another snowflake. It's really, really amazing. And if you're into math, 
if you look at the fractals, they're simple f of x, f of x formulas, but they're just so amazing because they create this image, and if you zero in on it, uh, you get to the edge of it, and then you see that there's a resemblance to the same shape, but it's different. And you can keep doing that up to infinity, more and more and more, and each one is a little bit different than the one before, but it still has a resemblance. So it is with the glorious body of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has all of these permutations of himself, but it's all still himself. Just as we have these permutations of ourselves, but they're limited. So God is unlimited. We have a limitation, but that limitation is open. Our soul, our soul is shaped like this. It's open like this. This is why we can stand and pray like this, because now we can open to infinity, to what is beyond, to God. So although we have our limitation yet, that limitation is open to infinity. And why am I saying this now? Okay. Each one is made in the image and likeness of God. We do an injustice to others and to ourselves when we box ourselves in. And often what keeps us in this trap is uh, lack of forgiveness. Uh, sometimes it's lack of forgiveness for ourselves. Sometimes it's this guilt weighing us down. But praise the Lord and His glorious mercy. He rose from the dead and reached out to them who walked away from Him at the worst time in His life. And He said, Peace be with you. He reconciled them back to Him. And they were filled with joy when they recognized Him. And so it is in our own life. Let us let go of the hurt and forgive from our hearts like He forgave us. Once we do that, we unbox and we begin to see the resurrected Christ in each one, especially the people we care most about. And then suddenly we realize, huh, there's more to them than what I was thinking. There's, there's a mystery about them and my openness to them and now their that closer relationship becomes this beautiful communion that shines the light of the resurrection among you in your relationship and uh, and within your life in with everyone else and so today we can rejoice in the resurrection because it touches us deeply when we take it in and live it with each individual that we know and with the individuals that we do not know. The light of God is around them. He loves them so much and He loves me so much. And so let us be resurrected people and the resurrected family of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
At this time, please stay in your seats. Um, the clergy and servers are going to go around the church three times this way, then coming down the aisle the last time. So we're going to begin with the diaconal proclamation, and then the mitni at the tomb, uh, and then we're going to go in procession, and then we're going to have the uh, benediction, uh, the blessing with the glorious cross. Please stand. Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Son of God. You are our Lord Jesus Christ. You saved us from the sa slavery of Satan. Grant peace and security to the children of your church. We call out to you in prayer. O Lord, hear us. <laughs>
the Father, Amen. the security of the Son, Amen. the fellowship and reconciliation of the Holy Spirit, Amen. be with us and among us all the days of our lives. the source of peace and security and the great treasure of reconciliation bestow upon us and among us your peace and security extend your merciful right hand on this holy place and on this congregation here present as they bow their bodies and souls before you bless them with your heavenly blessings bind us together and make us worthy to continuously glorify you your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. نؤمن بإله واحد. آمين ضابط الكل. خالق السماء والأرض. كل ما يرى وما لا يرى. وبرب واحد يسوع المسيح. ابن الله الوحيد. المولود من الآب قبل كل الدهور. إله من إله. نور من نور. Oh 
Lord and God, you accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you and your holy name. Shower your spiritual blessings upon them and in place of their earthly gifts, grant them life and your kingdom. Amen. As remember our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ and his plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, Saint Maron and Saint John Maron. Remember, O God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those whom the sacrifices offered for all our parishioners, living and deceased. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. <coughs> To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Good and holy God and Father, through your only Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you have prepared this spiritual and holy banquet for us. Accept these pure offerings and grant us the gift of your Holy Spirit. Make us worthy to approach your sanctuary with pure hearts and clear consciences. Grant us the peace that your only Son gave to his holy disciples, so that we may give one another that same peace with a holy kiss. We we'll raise glory to you, your only Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to you, priests of God. Peace to you, deacon of God. Peace to you, subdeacon of God. Peace to you, servers of the Holy Spirit. Let us give the greeting and peace to our neighbor with love and faith that are pleasing to God. Now and forever. Oh. 
محبة الله الآب ونعمة الابن الوحيد والشركة وحضور الروح القدس مع جميعكم يا اخوتي إلى الأبد. لتكن أفكارنا وعقولنا وقلوبنا مرتفعة إلى الولاء. إنها لديك يا الله. لنشكر الرب متهيبين ونشكر له خاشعين. إنه لحق Father of mercies, Lord of creation, Lord of the universe, unsearchable God, you are the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, born of you and equal to you. He is the radiance of your glory, the image of your being, and by your power, the maker of all. In him you created the world in your grace. In him we see you, and from him we receive your spirit. In him the mystery of your trinity hidden from all ages was revealed. We praise and thank you with our mouths that have been blessed by your word and cleansed with your forgiving hyssop. Those who glorify you are countless cherubim and seraphim, thousands of spiritual beings standing before you and myriads of fiery ranks serving your majesty. They sing triumphant hymns and with harmonious voices. O Lord, although we are your weak and sinful children, make us worthy to the gift of your grace to sing with them and proclaim. In Sablahmo be thou Kadi Shoto, Wubare Hokadish, Waxo Yabil tell me thou Kadomar, Sabahul Mene Kulhun, Hono Denita Fagro deal, Dahlo Faikun Wahlo Sagia. Metek seu meti hab, Hoso yut haube wal hai dalolam olmi. Ami. Hokano al koso dam zero min hamro min mayo. Bare hokadesh, weabil tell me thou kadomar. Sabish tau mene kulhun, Hono deni tau, Domo deal diatiki dato, Dahlo feikun wahlof sagia, Mete shedo meti hab, Hoso yot haube wal hai dalolam olmi. Do this in memory of me, for whenever you gather in my name and eat this bread and drink this cup, you remember my death and resurrection until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O Lord, we now remember all that you suffered and endured for us and your liberating and life-giving plan of salvation, your miraculous incarnation, your saving passion, your life-giving cross and your life-giving death, your solemn burial, your joyous resur resurrection, your ascension into heaven, your sitting at the right hand of the Father, and your second coming when you shall reward all people according to their deeds. O Lord, have compassion and pour out your mercy upon all of us, 
that we may enjoy the gifts of your heavenly church. For this your church implores you, and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty Father. Have mercy on us. O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have compassion on us, O God. Have mercy on us and hear us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living Holy Spirit descends upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. Anin morio, anin morio, anin morio, winite morucho hayo kadisho nagadalain wal kurbo no hono. Through these mysteries may sinners be absolved and enemies reconciled. May those who hate find peace and those who are sad find joy. May those who grieve be consoled and those who are sick be healed. May those in distress find comfort and those who repent be humble. May the prophets be remembered and the apostles honored, the martyrs crowned, and may the confessors exalt and the angels rejoice. And may your divinity be praised and your trinity be honored. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. We offer you, O Lord, this sacrifice, the memorial of your passion, crucifixion, death, and resurrection for your church throughout the world. She is founded on your hope, remembers your salvation, and awaits your kingdom. We offer it for the bishops of the true faith. Grant them the wisdom and knowledge that comes from you, and make them worthy to proclaim your kingdom especially Francis, Pope of Rome, Bishara, Peter, our patriarch of Antioch, and Elias, our bishop. May all the shepherds of the church sanctify their days by caring in fear and justice for your people that you have entrusted to them. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, keep us in awe when meditating on your son's resurrection. Let this glorious event constantly shake us to the core with astonishment so we may come to understand your might and witness to your glory, proclaiming out loud, he has been raised, just as he said. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Ya Rabb, b'ihtifilna ha-sabah b'iyamit Yesu' al-Majidi. M'nirfa' salatna, a'niyit kill al-ashkhas, li fa'adu kill raja b'hayyaton, u'saru haymin b'faraag mumid. من صلي لحتى نور الإيمان يضوي حياتهم ولحتى فرح الإيام يوصلون على حياة جديدة تجعلون أبناء إلك وتلاميذ ابنك المنتصر على الموت نسألك يا رب يا رب أرحم Remember, O Lord, all your saints, especially Mary, the holy and ever virgin mother of God, the prophets, apostles, martyrs and confessors, and all who profess the Trinity in true faith. Through their holy prayers and petitions, look upon us with eyes of compassion, and may your calming and pleasant face shine upon us. Make us worthy to share in their reward and in, the, in their inheritance, and may their shadow be a shelter of protection for us. On the fearful day of judgment, we pray to you, O Lord. O oh Lord, in the sweetness of your compassion, receive the souls of our brothers and sisters, the children of baptism, who have gone to you in the true faith for, from this world of darkness, especially those for whom the sacrifice is offered. May the mystery of your body and blood be a pledge of life for them, a fire that consumes sins, and a burning coal that destroys transgressions. In your mercy, grant them rest in the dwellings of light and joy, in the heavenly Jerusalem, 
O lover of all people, grant us life, abundant blessings and mercy, and forgive our sins and theirs. Grant rest, O God, to the departed, and forgive the sins we have committed, with or without full knowledge. O Lord, do not deprive us of your mercy, but keep us in the palm of your hand, lest we fall and go astray, so that we may walk on your paths, follow your ways, and do your will. Forgive us and our departed, and pardon all sins and transgressions, hidden and seen, committed with or without full knowledge. Make us worthy of a faithful Christian life, death that is pleasing to you, and join us to your righteous ones, and to those who have done your will, that in us and in all things your blessed name may be glorified with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and your living Holy Spirit now and forever. As it was, is now, and shall be forever. with your truth and sanctify us by your holy gifts may you dwell among us that we may be secure may your peace live in our hearts your faith abide in our consciences and your cross be a true sign of protection for your church may our tongues proclaim your truth and repeat your holy prayer and our lips pour forth glorious thanks to you that with you we dare to call the father abba praying our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. ونحن يا رب أبناك الضعفاء لا تدخلنا في التجربة. لكن نجنا من الشرير لأن لك الملك والقوة والمجد الآن وإلى الأبا السلام لجميعكم وروحك إحنا رؤوسكم أمام الله الرؤوف وأمام مذبحه الغافر وأمام جسد مخلصنا ودمه المحيي لمن يتناوله O oh Lord, we have approached your holy altar, the source of divine gifts. May we share in your holy mysteries and join the assembly of those who glorify you, that we may raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. The grace of the most holy trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. وليسأله الرحمة والحنا لداس للكدسين بالنقاوة والطهارة والكداسات أبو عبد الدوس 
Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life, O Lord our God, to you be glory forever.
Again and again we thank you, O Lord, and raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, O compassionate and merciful one. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. نشكرك اللهم الآب يا كثير المراحم ونحمدك ونماجدك لأنك أهلتنا لمائدتك المقدسة والاشتراك في أسرارك المحية ونبتغي إليك فلا تجينا في ذلك اليوم المقيف بل لجنا من الخضي والخجل وضمنا إلى جموع قدسيك لكي نرفع معهم وبينهم المجد إليك ولابنك الوحيد وروحك القدوس الآن وإلى الأباء Assalamu alaikum. O Christ, King of Glory, we entrust our lives to you, knowing that you will take care of our needs. Help the elderly with your mighty power. Restrain the young with your guidance. Nurture children and instruct them in your divine teaching. And sign each of us with your victorious cross. To be glory with your Father and your Holy Spirit now and forever. Before the final blessing, we have a few announcements. Please be seated. Good morning. So there are many announcements, but we're only going to get through a couple of them. The, all the announcements are in the bulletin. If you are not receiving the bulletin, if you're new or you haven't registered, there's a QR code in the hallway, in the hall, I'm sorry. And if you take a picture of that, you can use that to register to receive the email bulletin, which contains all the information and all the schedules. The, the, um, on April 13th, Saturday, April 13th at 7 p.m., we're having a concert here for a benefit to raise money for St. Rafa's uh, Monastery in Lebanon. That's on Saturday, April 13th. The next MYA Mass will be on Sunday evening, April 21st at 6 p.m. That's going to be followed by a social dinner. Please join us that evening. By the way, this is open for all parishioners, but for the MYA Mass, we really want you to bring your high school students. And I see a lot of young faces here, a lot of people in their 20s. Please come to this Mass. The music is provided by the MYA, and um, I'll be giving a homily that day that's geared toward the young adults. So I'd love to see you there. Please come. That will be April 21st at 6 p.m. A married couples retreat will be held on April 27th down in Marietta's 
uh, Marietta at the sister's house. Um, we, we are almost out of space, so if you would like to reserve a spot, it's for married couples, please look at the bulletin. The phone number for the person who can take your registration is in there. Her name is Nada. She's in the back there. You can talk to her after Mass, too, if you would like. So we have our festival coming up on the weekend of June 7th. And if you haven't been here, this is a fantastic festival. There's like six, 7,000 people that come through here every day. Tons of entertainment, everything from professional performers to our kids doing a talent show. However, we do need volunteers to serve all those people. And unfortunately, a lot of people look at volunteering as a chore. And if you ask the volunteers, they look at it as a lot of fun. We have a great time. This is how we got to know each other and made friends in our parish. And in order to register for, uh, to be a volunteer, you go to that bulletin and there's a QR code. And really, I would really encourage you to do that. If you want to become a part of this community, that's the best way to do it. And it's a lot of fun and it's very, re very rewarding after those three days. Um, speaking of volunteering, our charity committee has organized a visit across the street to where the, we have some ill kids that, have, that are like long-term sicknesses and they want some company. So on April 6th, we go for a couple hours to help clean up. And then on April 26th, we go to, to hang out with the kids and play games. If you would like to do that, that information is also in the bulletin. And finally, uh, for the festival, we have Debke practices, the Debke rehearsals. Um, for our ladies, for the teens, and this year we're going to have the 5 to 11 year old kids. Registrations are still open for, De for the Debke. Sister Martha, wherever she's at, she's probably in the hall, okay? Sister Martha will be happy to give you the information and sign you up because on April 7th, that's next week, we are having our first Debke rehearsals and that's also the deadline to register for the talent show. That's it for announcements, Monsignor. Thank you, Deacon Joe. We owe a lot of uh, thanks to the many people that were involved, from the servers to the kitchen to the children's activities and the so many other things. Uh, today we want to thank special thanks to the choir, Dr. Anthony, Fadi Garbat, and all the members of the choir who have been practicing for so much and made it beautiful. <laughs> At this time, we will have a final blessing, and you can come up to reverence the uh, glorious cross, and then you can take flowers and uh, blessed bread with you home. And we'll have also another set, Father Wadi is going to go into the church, it's full in there, and uh, he's going to have uh, another cross, and they have flowers also, and bread, you're going to have flowers and bread in there as well. Um, so let us pray, please stand. Lord Jesus Christ, you have saved us from going astray by your life-giving cross and have given us a way to heaven. By your cross, worshippers are kept safe night and day and are protected from the evil one and his power. By your cross, sustain the elderly, subdue the haste of youth, educate the young and nurture children. By your cross, sanctify priests and purify deacons by your cross heal the sick and the suffering by your cross establish your church in strength and make her monasteries and convents firm by your cross may all people live in peace and harmony by your cross guard us from all distress and lead us to perfection by your cross grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed in purity and holiness we celebrate the feast of your resurrection and at the second coming make us worthy to meet you in joy. We raise glory and thanks to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Christ is risen. He is truly risen. Al-Messiah come. come.